Are you still taking photos like a tourist? Mm -hmm. Next time when you see a cool landmark, try this. Turn on panel mode, turn your phone horizontally and move upward slowly. This girl is, on fire. is this you trying to get a street style shot? Next time try this. Turn on live mode, hold still for 3 seconds, swipe up to select long exposure. If you zoom out on your phone as you walk forward, you get this spatial warping known as the vertical effect. Here's the result. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Is this how you guys take your night shots? Next time try this. Turn on live, click and hold still for 3 seconds. Swipe up the photo to select long exposure. Sure, you can shoot like this if you want to look 3 feet tall. Or try stepping up with one foot, much better. You can choose looking stiff sitting down or extend one leg out to look cool. Okay, this doesn't look awkward at all. Can we take a step up and create some curves? Want to show off your full look? Run up a few steps. A shift in angles will do magic. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. Is this how you take your selfies? Next time when you see foliage, try this. Lay your phone on the ground. Grab some leaves and turn on self timer. Drop it. How to take a photo in a touristy mm -hmm. spot? Get closer to the landmark, turn on wide angle, and flip your phone upside down and shoot up. Can we stop taking snow photos like this? Next time, turn on live, wide angle, flip your camera to get close to the ground. Now kick. Is this how you take your mirror selfie? Mm -hmm. Next time, try rotating your phone upside down and positioning your feet closer to the edge of the frame, instantly taller. For close-ups, try blocking half of your face using your phone, instantly slimmer. Don't know what to do with your hands? Try this. Head hurts, shoulder hurts, arm hurts, hip hurts, knee hurts. You get a picture. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. How to take photos in the car. Ready? Don't blink. Pretend to be looking at your phone. Use the phone to block your face. Look out the window and take photos. Look back and add a detail shot. Now try it with your friends. Follow me on Instagram for more. Are you still taking photos like a tourist? Mm -hmm. The next time, try this. Turn on wide angle, flip your phone upside down, and take a step back. Drop. When you shoot in the park, don't just stand there. Get in the field, turn on wide angle, flip your phone upside down. Three tricks to look better in photos. Is this your tall friend's perspective? Ouch. Just lean back and have them leave one third blank space above your head. Nice. Never fill up all the boxes. Move one foot in front of the other and leave one box above your head. Very cool. This is not how you take half body shots. Let me tell you a secret. Put your head in the middle box and body close to the right bottom corner. Perfect. Follow me on Instagram for more tips. When you see a pretty sky, are you still taking photos like this? Next time, try this. Turn on wide angle and flip your phone upside down. Two super useful tips for everyday photos. One, don't shoot down. Move back and flip your phone upside down and feet close to the edge of the frame. Leave one third blank space above the head. Two, don't just sit there. Imagine yourself as a mermaid and swing your tail. There, much better. Hidden iPhone camera tricks most people don't know about. Zooming while recording a video by moving your finger on the dial. Make sure your camera grid is turned on. When shooting down, tilt the camera until the two crosshairs merge into one. That means the image is level. Super useful for flat lays or scanning documents. Use the magnifying glass feature right in the photo album to create some fun photo effects. Follow me on Instagram for more tips.